Alrighty, folks, we are going to queue into ranked if we look how much time is left. There's a little over three hours in ranked. Ideally, we could get out of bronze three today. That would be cool. Um, have a little bit more time to play than we did last week. I already played a warm-up game, and uh, we were able to win it. So right now, we're kind of overstocked on videos to put out. We've got, you know, two... Uh, at the time of recording this, I've got two full predecessor games to put out. One of them's all the way backlogged from last week's ranked. We played an Iggy and Scorch game. And then I've got a midweek testing of a Greystone build that we recorded earlier this week. So both of those will be up by the time this one goes up. And I'll uh, link those in the description and probably just popped up their thumbnails on the screen. But... We are here. We have not got any word from the devs on how ranked is going or anything like that. We don't have, uh, you know, a new patch notes revealed yet or anything. So probably looking at next week before we get any word from them. But I think Predecessor's been on a great path. Um, it's by far not the only game I've been playing. I've been running a lot of Elden Ring. There's a lot of Elden Ring hype happening right now. And I never played through the full game the first time, so I'm doing a little playthrough of that probably will pick up the DLC after I finish the main game. A lot of people have been saying the DLC is extremely hard, so that's, you know, to be expected. But here we go. We've, oh, well, we attempted to find a ranked game there. But we're going to run into some more ranked here. We will uh, see how the pick and ban phase goes. Morgesh has been getting banned a lot. Morgesh and Sparrow seem to be the most common ban. I don't know if that's due to where we are in the ranked tree, being down here at bronze three, or if, you know, uh, obviously everyone's saying Sparrow's strong, and, and Sparrow is pretty strong if they're a competent uh, carry or if they have a good support with them, but last game we had a Revenant that just absolutely went off, so you never know. Um, not seeing any, I haven't seen a Chimera ban yet, I don't think, so that's kind of one you would maybe expect and aurora is not getting banned a lot either so it that's you know it, it's going to be rank dependent but either way i hope you guys are enjoying the uh, trajectory of this game and the the ranked weekends getting those games in when you can you got a 12 hour window on saturday to play them so take advantage of it get you uh, get that practice in in the middle of the week or prior to the window or some warm-up games when the window's going on because I think when you know th this game is just gaining in popularity and rank's going to get more and more popular uh, as it opens up to be maybe a 24 hours on Saturday or maybe they do like a 12 hour Friday, 12 hour Saturday type thing or see what they end up wanting to do with it. Um, we've had good fun in it. It's nice to have competent teammates. Uh, last game, everyone was just good jobbing all the kills and, and coordinating well and uh, not a, not over pinging but just pinging um, strategically and we had a good match for it we'll vote off lane here and see if we can grab it um, always nice to see people vote Phil um, Greystone I think is still strong in the off lane I have done some tests let's we'll throw our more our standard more guess vote up and see how it everyone's feeling I don't mind banning someone else the thing is every single time that my team hasn't banned sparrow the other team banned sparrow so um, i haven't run into the situation or know what happens when both teams pick the same ban okay well we get to see that this time yeah so that's what happens why i always vote morgash is i just kind of assume the other team's probably going to vote sparrow but we'll take graystone we did that midweek testing video and we ran earth shaker is it earth shaker or earth shatterer i think it's earth shaker uh we'll have to look in here when we get but it's the axe that gives you the attack speed and the uh, health and um it did good for us it's uh it's potentially a good start if you're planning on being aggressive every ranked game i've played in solo lane so far have uh has been pretty rough just because of opponent matchup you know you're not playing sometimes when you're in the casual games you'll play against a uh, a Kalari that's not very good or 
you know, um, a carry sometimes. It used to see it more often. I haven't seen it in a while, I guess, but you would see like a twin blast in solo lane or Iggy and Scorch in solo lane or something like that. And Greystone's going to do great into all those matchups. But when you have the super meta picks that are going to be splitting damage and, and put a bunch of magical damage on you, like Steel, like Quang, um, you know, you, it just makes it a lot harder to deal with, especially if they're competent. We'll see what it looks like here. Oh, okay, so probably shouldn't be Orcolari here, so I wouldn't assume. Probably shouldn't be, I would think. And there's Morgesh. If you don't ban her, I can almost promise you're going to play against her because all it takes is one person on their team to be really good at Morgesh, and it, it puts your whole team in a rough spot. So I would assume we play a Shinbi here in the solo lane. We will get down lane and see how that looks. Uh, and we're just spinning around at the, at the start up here. Uh, I've been still going Warrior Crest. Okay, yeah, it's Earthshaker. I think we probably will go Earthshaker here. Because um, Gaia grieves. Yeah, we'll go Earthshaker. We'll go Earthshaker and then try to go into... We'll actually just take the attack speed first. 10% attack speed is probably more significant when we get our auto attack boost. But we'll probably go potentially Elifrost's second item. We'll just play it out and see how it looks. Um, you know, uh, I'm not very experienced playing it, so shouldn't be. This could still well be a Kalarian offlane. No, it shouldn't be. Um... You gotta keep an eye on Kalari jungle. I'm right here. But uh, Shinbi, Shinbi's not a hero that I enjoy playing. But the damage output can be pretty annoying. The range can be annoying. Similar idea to Morgesh, where she can get that old stacked up on you, and then there's just no escape. You're taking a big chunk of old damage. So we'll see what we can do. We want to try to stay out of lane in such a manner where we're not going to get rocked by her her little line wolf I'm missing last hits already her little long range wolf that she can just send through the lane we probably want to stay you know to the side of lane enough to not get clipped by that too many times she is going to have a very good clear probably one of the better clears early uh, that we're gonna be that we would have the opportunity to face out here. Okay, Kalari putting the pressure on our duo lane. Oh well, eight minutes. What is uh? What's going on with that? Okay, we've got our auto attack boost now. If we can clear this wave faster than her, we'll... No, we're not going to clear it much faster. jimby has got great clear. We're just going to try to stay off of her a little bit and let her waste her mana. Um, still tempted to go Ella Frost's second item. Um, keep her from escaping. Keep from, from her from escaping when we want to go for the big dive. Um, we may not need the survivability. Seven minutes. I'm not exactly sure what he's meaning on the timer there. Oh, he's he's counting down to surrender to us surrendering, I guess. Ooh, there's all our dashes. 
I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. He's saying eight minutes, seven minutes. <laughs> Counting down to surrender. Now, you know, we do have a howitzer support, so... Yep, he's count down the surrender. See, now, this is what you would expect in ranked. Um, so are you for real? Uh, this is what you would expect in ranked. People that are just coming in here to be toxic for no reason, like... I'm gonna go ahead and put the pressure on her so she has to back out. Say, are you for real? Like he's just, bro. Just play defensively and farm. And it, you know, it's like if you don't, it, when you come in here and you don't get first blood, and then you want to count down the time till it, till surrender is up. What are you doing, brother? Like legitimately, what are you, bro? Take three kills, bro, or carry. So you know, it's like. The game's not over at the two minute mark because you didn't get the first blood. Or the game's not over because it looks like your carry's not as good as their carry or whatever it is, you know, it's like, it's a team game. We have our ult, so as long as we have mana for it, there's no reason for us to back yet. Serve mana here. Actually, we're just gonna burn this mana off and poke her out because we're backing. There's Morgesh. We're gonna have to blink out of that because Morgesh can delete me. And I don't have the 100 mana required for my ult. So, we're gonna back. We are going to get a lot of progress here on Earthshaker done. Not quite finish it up, but that's all right. Um, looking like Earthshaker and Elifrost is not going to be bad either. Either Elifrost or maybe just Fire Blossom because the Shimbi's not managing her mana well enough to where it makes me say I need to be able to. Uh, able to get to her. She was already too far separated off of me, brother, sorry. I hope I can try to come keep you alive, but... Yeah, we made sure he didn't go down, at least. To the Kalari surprise. Yeah, I mean, I think Fire Blossom here just makes me more of a threat than Ella Frost. Both of them give you clear. Just depends on what you're looking for. If you're already ahead, um, normally I would say Ella Frost. I'm just a big fan of Ella Frost first item for the mana regen, but if you're already ahead like this, and be able to hit the Shinbi. Nope, guess not. Guess I'll just miss every single auto on her. Really? Glory, how's that gonna go for you? Bro, you're level four. You just wanna annoy me and poke me out? What's... Really good clear from Shinbi. It just cost her a lot of mana to do it. Clary, stop, man. I mean, actually, you're welcome to just stay over here if you want, because Clary's clear is so bad. Clary's clear is so abysmal. She's pretty much, I don't know about y'all, but she's pretty much always behind in jungle for me. I can never get a Clary that's uh, gonna, that's able to keep up clearing with like anybody else. I mean, Literally any jungler, I feel like, out here is Kalari. Shouldn't be out here wanting to take a check on 
or prime. Um, I'd like to challenge for green again, but I just don't have mana. It's the downside of not going Ella Frost. But we can clear this wave, make her just spam out her abilities. The auto attack damage buffs hitting her hard there. Problem is, I know where my jungle is. I don't know where theirs is, and I don't have the mana for my ult. So we're just gonna back. It's not ideal. Uh, we're actually not gonna let this wave go to waste. She's gonna have to back after green. Time to rest. So we're just gonna back. And she's gonna come hit me because. She doesn't want me to have the, the freedom to back I there, and she can. So, we'll get Earthshaker on here. Um, I like going Judgment still. And then we'll go, we'll start getting Ella Frost built. Enemy killing spree. An ally tower is under attack. Well, Morgash 3-0 It's kind of what you would expect. He's saying, why waste time? Ranked has a limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, you know, how do you uh, want our team to give any credence to what you say when it's the two-minute mark and you're saying, good game, eight minutes until we can surrender, when it's the two-minute mark because we didn't get first blood? Like... You know, I get it's a snowball-y type game, but uh, the game doesn't end when we don't get first blood, brother. It's not how it works. Now, dude, saying, you know, why should we waste time? Rank's gonna, rank's gonna end in three hours. Let's just, let's just surrender so we can get into it. No, it's like, dude. I'm right here. Really? You know? Uh, we're just gonna run over here and farm this minion camp because. No point in being so far away from my tower. I would love it if this Chimera said something about being offended for me farming that. Shinbi's in middle. Sort of hit me there a couple times to waste her mana. Pulls her wave away into a. Makes her wave waste time. She's not gonna beat me in a 1v1. Probably even if I don't pop my ult. So just kind of keeping pressure on her there. Didn't even hit judgment. I could probably hit it. Could have hit it twice in that round of engaging. Yeah, like, on one hand, it's like, why not surrender, guys? But on the other hand, do we think this late-game Kalari is going to be that big of a threat? You know? Like, are we really scared of this late-game Kalari? Yeah, if we are, you know, I get it, but... You know, it, if our Chimera just gets way over leveled on this Kalari, what are they What are they gonna do? 
Uh, this Shinbi probably tries to come over here and steal this. Oh no, Morgesh is here. That's great. That's going to be my death. I'm going to have to hit my ult here just to get some health back. And then blink out. And this is why I banned Morgesh. Oh, she's going to ult me. That's going to kill me. This is why I banned Morgesh. You get a competent Morgesh that gets a couple kills ahead. I was looking at it on the way back down here. You saw she's now 4-0. She was 3-0. You get a competent Morgesh that gets ahead, and she can just come over and delete you, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I used my jump out. I used my blink. Um, I should have had a ward down, to be fair. I should have had a ward down. You know, that part is on me. Um... Or our Iggy should have reacted at the same time as her and come over a little sooner, but um, it's just an impossible hero to play against. And now Howitzer's going to be saying, pretty funny, whoa, look how bad we're losing. It's like, dude, I'm going to report you for negative attitude, and um, even if you were, you know, talking bad about our team once we went down... You know, that's understandable, but at the two-minute mark, you're counting down the surrender timer? Like, um, come on, brother. Like, really? And unfortunately, I'm somewhat down now because she was able to get that green... have a Morgash on you, dude. You're already dead, and she's gonna come kill me, too. Oh my gosh. Man, there's... Why are you running her over here? Run him over here, maybe Greystone will save me. No, brother, you're gonna get us both killed. And also, you're playing howitzer uh, support, you know, it's hard to have any sympathy when someone's playing an off-pick like that. Um, or like I said, give any credence to what they're saying, because it's like, you know, if I jumped in here like I was saying in the pregame and queued up Twin Blast solo and then uh, started getting worked, and at two minutes after I died for the first time, it's like, oh, we need to surrender as soon as it comes up. Then, um, you know, I don't think anybody would care about what I had to say. So. But Ella Frost is up now. Um, problem is, Morgash, you know, th this is the point in the game where uh, when, you're, when their Morgash is up, it is so hard to recover. Instead of just randoming it. it while she's dropping hers so she gets no value out of hers. And now she's gonna back. She's surely just gonna run away. Shimbi's one of those characters too that's like impossible to chase. Okay. She's got Kalari with her. Put some hit on Kalari here. Yeah, now oh, that was... It's a losing fight. I thought the that Kalari wasn't going to do much. Let's see if I can get the damage pop up here. Yeah, Kalari didn't do much damage. She's level 8. It's just the... Um, seems like I'm the only one on the team playing. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and report him now. Um, like, what are we doing, bro? Why, why even queue into this game? 
Um, Stay not I'm not even. I'll just send the report. I don't want to type it out here. We're about to respawn. Uh, we're gonna get Fire Blossom up because it does make me one v one proof, and we're gonna wait for this last 350 gold, get the extra armor on. So now we should be pretty close to one v one proof. Fire Blossom and well the. The brimstone numbers don't lie. Wow, I mean, and like, I don't. I guess he probably realizes what he's doing, but when you start doing that, and now you have a four people against you, you have four people who want to spite you by not surrendering. Um, you know, what does that achieve? Clicked all the way up. I guess what's the cap? Eight? Oh, I had my ult back and I was about to hit it, but I didn't think that that um, all kill hit me for over 700 damage. Wow, I don't know what that is per per wolf or how many wolves that stacks up to. Um, yep, yeah, two minutes in. in yeah, can we just go ahead and send another negative attitude report? Or does it already count when you've sent one? Um, so yeah, this is... I probably should have gone for a magical armor item here. Yeah. Okay, good. The whole team's gonna be here. I'm gonna have to hit my old and blink out. There's literally four people here. Howitzer, if you don't think that is a waste, you shouldn't be playing ranked. Dude, you, you're making a you're making it worse for yourself here. More guys just trying to get an ult off on me. Oh, well, that's gonna kill me. No. Yeah, but, you know, this howitzer is, is talking massive crap and just, um, and you think wasting time is getting stopped in there. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, you know, this guy is even worse than the the thing Mal that we had. Um, yeah, dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. the thing Mal we had in the other toxic game was funny because he just he he just went off as soon as. Um, Okay, I don't know what Howitzer's up to over there. Um, yep, yeah, now we're surrendering this one out. Even though I was the only one to vote no. But the Fang Mal, he wasn't being like, he was only toxic because our Iggy was like, you need to come help me out more in mid, which was probably a reasonable response. And they just said, no, I've been there before, I'm not coming back. But this guy, two minutes into the game, and he even said it again there later, he said two minutes in, it was already over. It's like, dude, what are we doing? I mean, what is... You're the one playing Howitzer out here and trying to stack Soulbinder at the, <laughs> from the very start of the game. I mean, not like... Uh, I mean, that's just insanity, dude. I would take anyone at support. Shall we? that's uh, not building full damage, you know, like, come on, so yeah, we lose a little bit of ranked here, <laughs> a little bit harder of a grind to get out of bronze three, but hopefully we can get it done tonight, uh, this recording is already almost 30 minutes despite that game being pretty short, so we will 
hop out of here. I will actually be pulling up the recording and pulling up that dude's gamer tag so I can file another report because uh, we just don't need that kind of negativity and toxicity in uh, in every ranked game. But we're gonna hop into another one here. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will see y'all in the next one.